Hello, our today's topic is interferometry. Before started to discuss interferometry, we have to discuss about a phenomenon known as interference. Interference is defined as the phenomenon in which two waves superpose to form the resultant wave of lower, higher or same amplitude. So three possibilities are there after superposition of three two waves. Either the amplitude will be uh, low weight or it will become zero or otherwise it will be increased or it will be uh, become double of that uh, amplitude of single wave and or otherwise it will have the same amplitude. So the most commonly seen interference is the optical interference or light interference and the best example of this light interference is given as the colors of oil film floating on water. Let's see uh, what is happening on this oil film. So this blue colored band is actually representing the oil film and the sunlight is actually incident on the surface of the oil film and it is getting reflected uh, from the top surface of the oil film that is W1 and uh, one portion is actually transmitted to the bottom portion of this oil film and it is again get reflected from that top of bottom portion and it is the W2 and if we are watching from this portion so the two waves are actually uh, incident on our eyes and uh, we can see that from inspecting uh, from verifying this picture we can uh, see that the wavefront w2 is traveling at a greater distance compared to the wave w1 so that difference in uh, distance traveled by the two waves w1 and w2 is actually creating the interference here and it is actually leads to the radiation or presentation of different colors on the oil field. The picture shows the Young's double slit experiment. So in this experiment we are using a source of light and this source of light is actually splitted into two sources of lights using a slitted screen. The slits are actually very fine slits we are giving. So these slits if the light uh, is passing through these two slits it is actually divided into two wave fronts so now uh, in this portion we can see that two wave fronts are propagating towards the screen and when it is a, uh, incident on the screen we can see that in some portions see the red line portion in red light portion actually the two wave fronts are actually uh, joining here uh, in the red line portion and exactly on that portion we have got a bright fringe and in but in some other cases uh, see the dotted line you can see the dotted line over here here actually the wave fronts are actually uh, how, uh, divided into two okay the half portion of one wave is actually mixed with or superposed with the half portion of the another wave front and uh, uh, the incident portion on the screen is appeared dark so we have got alternate dark and white fringes on the screen and the portion between the dark and bright is actually presenting a uh, gradual uh, variation from dark to bright and then again bright to dark. So we can tell that the appearance of this bright and dark fringes are due to the interference of light and exactly we can tell that the bright bands are made by constructive interference of the two waves and you can see in this picture the first picture you can see that the example of a constructive interference so in constructive interference you can see that the wave uh, wavelength is exactly matching the two waves lengths are exactly matching then the resultant will be a uh, double amplitude wave uh, that means the uh, brightness will be double in that region that's why we are getting a bright fringe on the screen so this portion uh, this is known as a constructive interference and on the other hand in the dark region we can see that 
uh, it is actually shifted the face of the wave 1 and wave 2 are shifted exactly uh, by a distance that is lambda by 2 half of the wavelength and uh, as a result uh, what it is happening the uh, amplitudes here and the amplitude the negative amplitude and positive amplitude or here the positive amplitude and the negative amplitude both are uh, cancelling each other and the, the next effect will be a dark fringe there is no light so dark fringe and this uh, is known as the destructive interference in other ways uh, in other ways we can tell that if the two waves are at a phase difference of uh, odd multiples of lambda by 2 then this will leads to destructive cons uh, interference and uh, uh, if it is having an even multiple of lambda by 2, then that will lead to constructive interference. Then we will discuss about the interferometry. So the interferometry, we are using the optical, it's a optical measuring technique that provides extreme precise measurements of distance, displacement or shape and surface of objects and here uh, we know that uh, interference is used in this interferometry techniques and uh, they are definitely it is producing dark and light fringes and this dark and light fringes are analyzed to present accurate measurements in the range of nanometer we know that uh, the mechanical measuring instruments can be uh, measured in a range of micrometers. So, in order to increase uh, that level of uh, instruments, precision of that instruments, we needed to go for uh, optical measuring instruments. The simplest instrument which make use of this interferometry is optical flat. Optical flat is an optical grade piece of glass lap and polished to extremely flat on one or both sides we are using this optical flats along with a monochromatic light monochromatic light means light with a single wavelength One example of this monochromatic light is laser. And this, if it is used along with the monochromatic light, we can use it for determining the flatness of other optical surface by interference. So it should be the surface checker should be also having optical properties. It should be uh, finished enough to reflect the light rays. So when we are uh, measuring using optical flat, the optical flat is actually placed over the surface to be measured like this. Then we are actually providing a monochromatic light in this direction. Then it will be get reflected from the two surfaces. One is from the Vakpi surface. Another is from the bottom surface of the optical flat. The bottom surface of the optical flat is made to reflect the light it will partially reflect and partially transmit the light so it is a partially reflecting surface so one wave is reflected from the bottom side of the optical flat another one is actually reflected by top surface of the work piece so as a result we will have an interference and there is a uh, dark and white fringes as shown in this second picture picture b and you can see that if the work piece is uh, a perfectly flat one the fringes will be at the equally uh, at, at a distance equal distances and this distance will be comparatively more and in the picture c if you uh, inspire or see this picture c we can see that at a particular portion the fringes are coming close the distance between the dark fringes are very very uh, near to each other that is an indication that the work is having a slight taper so uh, the, the, the closeness of these fringes is actually an indication of taper in the work piece and in the picture d you can see that uh, curved fringes patterns fringe patterns 
that is an indication of curvature on the surface it may be a concave surface or a convex surface so then the patterns will be curved so that is the inference we can made after watching these uh, patterns then finally in the picture e you can see there it is an indication of a scratch on the surface so the scratch on the surface means only that portion the patterns having uh, got some variation this video is uh, showing uh, how we are measuring or checking the flatness of a an object using an optical flat so the optical flat is cleaned thoroughly and after that when it is placed on the surface to be checked and then now we will uh, pass the monochromatic light on the illuminated with the monochromatic light so uh, the machine actually having a chart to compare so using the chart we have to go to our conclusions whether this part is flat or not so uh, different different patterns are uh, already uh, given by the manufacturer to compare so this is the uh, patterns produced on a work surface and uh, we can see that the work surface is not flat in the next session we will discuss about another instruments known as interferometers which are using this uh, principle of interferometry thank you for watching